Hi, everyone. Here we are. Hi. Hello, everybody. The chain gang. The, mm -hmm. po the post debate foursome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what a wonderful debate it was. It was indeed. Indeed. Yeah. They were showing people sitting, watching in Springfield, Ohio, mm -hmm. on a big screen. Did you see that? They were watching oh. big screen TV. And mm -hmm. the minute he started saying, they're eating dogs, they're eating. They all busted out laughing. <laughs> I think she wanted the minute she crossed that stage and went right up to him, looked him dead in the eye. Hello, my name is Kamala and shook his hand. That offset him right there. Well, that that well, he's a he's a germaphobe, so he doesn't like being handed stuff. He doesn't like talk, touching people. He's very um, OCD when it comes to his very specific environment. So that's an old debate trick too. When you cross the stage, um, we would do it in mock trial where we would be on the opposing side, uh, uh, side of the uh, courtroom. Yeah, we'd be hanging out by their table while doing our direct examinations or cross examinations. It's kind of like setting up turf, okay. and showing that you're not afraid. And um, one of the things, yeah, that just as an overall though, love the debate. That was great. Yeah. We can talk about the other stuff in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was a power now, move. Now, Nancy, give give me your opinion too, and then Andre, give me your opinion. Did you I think thought, what grade it? What is the grade you give? Oh, she got an A, and he got his usual F, because and it's not F for fail; it's F for effed up. Um, he, you know, it. Sean and I have done what when you're running candidates, you have things called murder boards where you ask them every possible question. Yeah, that you might that they might ever get asked. And it includes questions about their private life and everything so that they're not shocked. Yeah. you know, Because a lot of the we were, ran local campaigns. And so it'd be just a room full of people that we had no real control over. And we try to hit the, our candidate with every question you can imagine. And that's why they're called murder boards, because you feel like you've been murdered at the end of those things. Obviously, no one has taken him through a murder board. No. Or if they told him we're going to do a murder board, he would think they were talking about dogs and cats. Yes. Yes. Did you watch the whole thing, Andre? From beginning oh, to oh, I did. Yeah, I totally watched the whole thing. And um, yeah, it played approximately how I thought it might, but even worse, because yeah he was so willing to walk into all these traps, you know, that she was setting for him. You know, by the way, a lot of it is really common sense. I mean, she wasn't saying anything false. There were things that he had done and participated mm -hmm. in. It's just like picking fruit from a tree. This man is like beyond corrupt. You know, he's got mm -hmm. all kinds of things you can, you can talk about. Biden would have, if he had, would have been able to project his voice. Because really, when you yeah. read that transcript of what he said, it makes it seem like, oh, th this must be the guy that won the debate. Because when mm -hmm. you read what Trump was saying, same thing, incoherent babble. And he did the same thing yesterday. But of course, now there was a woman doing, he was do she was dominating him and he wants to dominate everything and everyone, right? So that was a big problem from the start. And it kept going. You notice that he never looked at her once. And she would look at him every time. She would be saying, right you're up. a disgraceful this and that, looking straight at him. So Looking down. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. I mean... Uh, no, the eye contact was key and because they had the two screens up you could see it and it was just blatant and mm -hmm. it's basically where all the memes are going to come from for the next mm -hmm. months i mean it's going to be brutal it's already brutal um so yeah no definitely her body language she was turned towards him during mm -hmm. a lot of the debate when they're really supposed to be addressing the the and looking right at him oh and looking right at him and calling and him out on whatever. it out by looking. Yeah. He, <laughs> I got you. When we're, when we're watching, she's doing this the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So, so we got, uh, and then you got to just see him. He's like this in the first 10 minutes. Then he's this. Then he's this. He kept sinking. <laughs> by the end of it, came to his eyes. Yeah. Yes, they said you couldn't oh. see the whites of his eyes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he he just got smaller and smaller and smaller, and hunched over too. And more, yeah, he's more. His body language changing. 
kind of turned into the penguin a little bit, you know, from Batman. And did you see him at the 9-11 event this, today? He told her you did a good job. Yeah. And she said he did a good job, too. She that said was that? the second lie she's told in the last 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that? No, he, he did a great that. He did a great job for a poet. Oh, yeah, no, it's a great job for her campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah just keep up the same, thing, same direction. Just keep that going. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, mm -hmm. I, my psychic hit the day before was that she was going to hold her ground. She was going to be firm. She was going to hold her ground. I didn't realize how kind she would be. She really tried to be calm and kind. and But she also daggered him because she told him, you're a convicted felon, you're a fraud, you're oh, rapist. Really? And he just, he does that face he makes. And, um, but then I said that, because people were saying, is he going to get so mad he walked out? No, he had his, his, his stuff he would say, and it's just repeating, he's just repeating it. But what? boy, was she right about go to a Trump event. He said, nobody goes to her events. It's oh. a size thing. He has a size problem in his brain. Everything has to be bigger. Everything is his letterhead is Trump in giant big gold letters. His size is I have the tallest buildings and blah blah blah. Yeah. It's all about size. I have the biggest events. They knew psychologically if they went in after that, because they know that Trump got under his skin because of his tweet. Oh not Trump, I'm sorry. When when Obama was doing the Democratic convention, he did his little joke. The tweet on trump from trump just escalated he didn't like that and uh during the convention so they knew where his buttons were yeah and, and she and the one thing like he'll go to toe to with a dude uh um he'll go you know but when it's a female and then a female person of color it was beautiful I mean, it was that's beautiful. his that's his Hard a button as you can push on Trump. And then the creme de la creme, when they were asking, what do you think about Taylor Swift endorsing? He said, I don't know her. But he was so, willing to post a fraudulent thing about her supporting him. His big problems in the debate were the abortion issue. He wouldn't answer the question. Um, Freaking health care. Oh my God. So yeah. they're like, oh, you've had nine years. I have a concept of a plan. In and nine I years. I remember them talking to him before he was president the first time. He's well, the last been talking time. About since 2015. He's been That's saying, weird. and I have a better, I better. And here's why uh, McCain said no, because they had no other plan. That's mm -hmm. why Justice Roberts said no, too. He said, how can you stop millions of people with health care when you have nothing else in its place? Right. Yeah. Well, I know. No, he, he could never answer. And then, of course, the abortion issue. Also, he wouldn't answer that. Oh, I did what I did what ninety percent of everybody. That is totally garbage. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. ab abortion rights are like in the low seventies at this point, as yeah. far as people who want it federalized, so everyone's got the same. Yeah, yeah it's in the low seventies. He's out of his mind I when know. he when he throws those numbers around. He is off by sixty points. Well, um, he's panicked. He even said, "Oh yeah, I'm not for the abortion for the Florida." He would say something like that. People would get so mad he turned it well, around. It's because, it's because these congressional candidate Republicans are running, and they've anchored geographically speaking, they've anchored their congressional district to these suburbs because they need population. It's all freaking alligators and nobody out in Florida. You got to find people. Those people are in suburbs, and that or conservative enough to be able to pass. Well, the problem is, there's a whole lot of women in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I said when that when when Florida, the, you're seeing it in North Carolina. North Carolina came out pulling today. Yeah, uh, what to was get, it? A three point gap. So she's up it, three points now to North Carolina. I think she was one, only one or two. A, I'll have to I'll have to remember the poll. Maybe I took a picture of it. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it came out this morning. Uh, when I was getting my show ready, so I wasn't really, uh, no, I didn't write it down. Uh, but yeah, it was a, it was a three point gap. I remember that. Uh, and North Carolina has been 50 50 this entire time. And what it is, is the suburbs are waking up. Mm -hmm. And, um, I personally, you know, in Texas, I think 
the I-35 corridor going right to DFW. I think uh, all the subs are suburbs in uh, around Charleston and uh, even on, up in Asheville and North Carolina, there's tons of space there uh, that you could make real, make a real footprint. And they got tons of people working in North Carolina. Yeah. And 40% of the, the elect, the electronics triangle that's up in North, North Carolina, that's grown up in the last 30 years, 40% of the people that live there are new. They were not raised in North Carolina. And that's, that's the, effect you know you can i've read for a lot of people that moved to north carolina mm -hmm. oh it's beautiful yeah that's what i heard mm -hmm. yeah no um so uh in, on my channel i'm doing i'm looking at different states and stuff i've been looking up the average age of each state that's been really informing as far as like where the state's headed um because some of them um like it's like if it's an old red state it's not going anywhere just yeah. like if it's an old blue state, it's not going anywhere. But there's these 35-year-old states running around right now mm -hmm. that are doing some crazy stuff. And um, and the millennials are 30-something now. Okay. So, and they're the largest voting. They, they're they 20% bigger than Gen X. And they're so huge. that's Taylor Swift's group. Taylor Swift's group. 36, yeah. Yeah. Um, are those so, uh, are those states uh are they in the seven eight battlegrounds uh some of them are like for example texas oh, so the average age of the united states is around 38.5 years old uh so you get some that are in their 40s and you get some that are in their low 30s texas is 35 most of the swing states are either in the low mid 30s or high 30s um but but none of them are above 38 and uh and then you get like randos like north dakota because of the shale revolution up there yeah and their age their average age goes from like 42 down to 32 wow. in effectively a year and a half so wow. a lot of weird stuff going on out there Did a lot of people die of covid over there no no it was the bunch of young people moving up to work in the whale well because there was the a oil industry that's a young man's got to, the oil industry is a young man's gig, let me tell you. Yeah. It, there's a lot of heavy lifting, lots of your knees have to work, your back has to work, you're definitely under the age of I can tell you, I used to be a pole dancer, and let me tell you, that's a young woman's job. <laughs> it is indeed. So it's like so, but so that's that was it was just a huge migration of people up there that were all able to do the job. So there's a lot of really cool demographic stuff that's happening right now. That's cool. It's all at once. Right. So it's been there's just you don't have a Trump very often, thank God. Yes. And you don't have the uh, explosion of voting potential of the largest generation in the history of our country all at the same time. And right. they got rid of Roe, you know, and you had COVID. I mean, it's just too many things are happening for there not to be changed. And what about Florida? What's Florida? Is there, are they? What's their age group? So what's uh, you know what Florida is one. Oh, okay, so yes, I do know that answer. Give me three okay. seconds. Um, there you are. So the average age of Florida is uh, uh, forty two because of their retirement. Okay. Right. The retirement community is gonna. So it's like you've got ninety year olds and you got twenty year olds and nothing in the middle. It's like, that's Florida, right? So, um, uh, and when you look at the 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 uh, according to the census, uh, you look at their their demographic breakdown of Florida. Uh, the it's one of the few states where the boomers outpopulate all other generations. Yeah. So, I mean, you act. There is literally almost no millennial bump in 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 florida's demographic because a couple of reasons one um unless you're in entertainment or hospitality what are you doing in florida yeah i mean you i mean nasa you got nasa hospitality i mean uh they have some agriculture up north but with the hurricanes hitting all the time oh, it's living insane. no one young could really afford it unless they're honestly a coke dealer so it's yeah, like and their their rates for housing and oh, what's their uh, insurance? 
if you the only insurance most of florida most of the big insurance companies left a couple of years ago most of florida is now uh it's all state insurance and it's it's twice as much as your mortgage Jeez. yeah so florida is a whole hot mess of of extreme poverty uh housing issues and uh everyone young is leaving yeah mm -hmm. So gas, I was there visiting my friends. Mm -hmm. They bought a place uh, on the beach and they were only there six months and said they wanted out. I think they went through two hurricanes and then they also, they, the people didn't come in. It was something with the people. Yeah. Oh, they're but the gas was $2, $2 and something a gallon. Yeah. It's, they're, it's called Florida man for a reason. You don't hear much about Nebraska, man. I mean, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but they were able to sell their place. They had to wait for a certain amount of time and they get hit with taxes. And then they bought a place in Las Vegas. Well, yeah, because you, I mean, coastal, anyway, Florida is Florida. Yeah. I, I was there in 22 when the outspent is 20 to one and DeSantis won by 19 and a half points. Um, is he still beloved in Florida or do you know? Oh, no, no, no. He, he, he went after the, the mouse. And that was it for him? Well, this is the thing. It's like, uh, Florida is just so messed up because when I was there in, in meetings with democratic organizations and political action committees, um, we, we were, we had translated everything into Spanish and a couple other languages. And, uh, but there are certain Spanish words we couldn't use because they're associated with the communist party. Whoa. So that's still a thing. I thought I was sitting in a Zoom call in the 1950s. It was bizarre to me. But it's it's a legit thing. And they they literally have to watch what words they use because it's kind of like it's just owned by the Communist Party that comes out of Cuba and there's a lot of Cuban right, right. they're very passionate people and they great food and beautiful people, but wow. It was interesting, wow. real eye opening. But then, and you know, and one thing I'll tell you, traveling doing campaigns has taught me when they, you know, all politics is local for real. I mean, that's that's like the only constant. Okay. <laughs> Did you look um, at the general theme? Any any national polls or anything like that? Um, well, the real polls are going to come up after the uh, the um, the debate that will be taken while people were being influenced by the debate probably won't be up for another oh, well cnn did one immediately. yeah no no no. They, those are called um those are like immediate polls yeah the sizes aren't that great and um let me see what let me see if there's anything that's gone public uh it's in this likely to come out in the next uh, 10 yeah, days? Yeah, it's going to be in the next day or two. Everything here is, you know... It's a flash poll. Yeah. It's okay. it, it's one they do that night. I watched on MSNBC and they had a focus group in Arizona that they had in a TV studio, you know, and the Seven. thing that they, they had a mixture of non-committeds and people who thought they would like Harris and some who thought they liked Trump. Well, there were two young Hispanic males who said they still weren't sure about Harris, but they were from living in Texas. I can tell you there's more to that idea of macho men not wanting to yeah. trust women than people want to give them credit for. But the one that worried me the most in that whole group was a woman who was a retired fourth grade teacher yeah. who had voted for Trump. And at the end, all the other people had said, nope, not not after we're eating cats and dogs. Nope, we're not going there, you know. And she was still like, well, I still have some questions about this. And I'm like, that woman was teaching fourth graders? I know. What was she teaching fourth graders, you know? But there's some mm -hmm. of those. So it, it just, it really takes a while for it to bubble into people what they really heard. Well, you got to break through people's bubble. So a very close friend of mine uh, had never voted until 2008. And uh, she, uh, in fact, 
yeah, I got her to register to vote and I walked her and she turned it in, did all the stuff. And, um, and the big like eye opening event for her, and she's literally voted in every election she could since 2008. The eye opening thing was when she saw McCain and Obama on stage together, she pointed at McCain and went, why are they, how can he run? I'm like, what do you mean? It's John McCain. He's like freaking the best Republican ever. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then she's like, no, uh, he's too old. I'm like, she's like, that's running against Obama. Obama's going to win. I'm like, only mm -hmm. people vote. And she's like, well, I'm definitely voting for Obama. I'm like, literally just on what she saw. Isn't that she really? No, she knew I liked Obama, but she didn't know much about Obama. She knew nothing about McCain. She never seen McCain before. Mm -hmm. You know, now what's interesting about this cycle is there's no one who hasn't seen Trump. He was on television for 16 years. Yeah. So they don't, there's, so what we have is a hyper, a, a highly educated generation, the largest generation with the most access to the most amount of information any generation's ever had ever. And they have the most information they could ever want to have about a guy who's been on television for 20 years. So they just need to get to know who Kamala is. And like they That's they, all they got to do. They know who Trump is. That no guy that worked with Trump and the the back people Trump was walked through exactly what he was supposed to say and do. It was all a setup. None of it was real. Oh yeah. No, it's a, it's I mean, I think He wasn't even rich. Well, Th this uh, Taylor Swift endorsement. Um, so I went and looked up what her social media footprint is. Yeah. Can you guys guess? Millions and millions. Uh, two, 300 million. 238 million. million. No, probably, probably in the billions. It's probably really, it's probably ridiculous. 550 yeah. million. 550. According oh. to when I Googled it today. Yeah. So 550 million different pl uh, locations got that. So that footprint... Like, who cares if 80 million people watched the debate? Is that what it was? How many people watched it? 80 million? Uh, that's how much they, I haven't seen any final number yet. They but. don't have, the, and they they have so much trouble because of folks like us that get people to come to YouTube. They don't, how many they people? don't have a real good way to um, right. follow that. So they're saying, oh, okay. Uh, Somewhere just shy of 60 million people watched the debate last night. Oh. But she tweeted out to 500 or whatever it out. Yeah. 550 million. Now that's globally. Yeah. Cut it in half. It's Ooh. still five times the footprint of the. And telling the young kids to register. The, literally the largest demographic and voter generation in the history of our country. And Ooh. she just put, put out the, you know, APB. So CNN, Kyle Griffith said 63% said Harris won the debate. 37% said Trump won. That's amazing because normally his floor is around 40. So yeah. he yeah, dropped even, a little bit. <laughs> apparently, even they like their dogs and their cats. I am, well, I I think they'll the still, they can cats. say that she won and still go vote for him. Right. You know, I mean, if their question is who oh. won the debate. Apparently... Um, What's his friend's name from North Carolina? He was in the... Oh, uh, the guy running up there for governor? No. What's oh. his friend? Um, the one that used to be good friends with McCain. Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham. Oh, yeah. Lindsey. South Carolina. Apparently, South Carolina. They interviewed him and told, he said, he needs to fire all those people that helped him with the debate. Dude, some of those people are like the highest ranking Republican operatives. Like, they only work for money. Those guys are sharks. Yeah. It wasn't them. Oh, no, because he's going to do what he wants to do. No, oh, yeah, no. It was Tulsi. It was Tulsi Gabbard being in there. That's what's great. Well, I actually have a lineup of his entire... Because um, uh, I did it on my shows. I found them all. So uh, let me find it real quick. So his people... We're down here. It's going to be... You know, I'll find it in a second. But yeah, so uh, so Harris, for her team, had a bunch of uh, of really just, you know, PhDs in communication. They kind of, they kind of, you know, went through 
the whole thing. And uh, let me see. Ah, there we are. Okay. Man. All right, I can't find it. But anyway, uh, he had quite... His, his people were sharks and then some people from his former administration. Okay. So uh, he's definitely... He went where people would not question him. You know, they they definitely uh, were giving him. Um, they would just let him do whatever he wanted. There was no discipline, I don't think. Well, you can't discipline him. Yeah. And now yeah. they're saying that uh, Kamala had the answers previously and was able to. Oh, he right. was saying that before they even got to the thing. So. Right. Yeah. Because that's a what, what answers? I mean, you mean the questions? Yeah, the questions. <laughs> I know, yeah, but anyway, that's just preposterous. Well, I'm the sorry. thing is, if you just looked at the questions, if you had two ounces of sense and you knew what was going on in the world, you'd know what questions were going to come up. I mean, oh, yeah, but he, he thrives, though. Trump thrives on this made up world where he doesn't want to be asked about anything difficult. That's why he's now saying, I'll debate, but only if it's Sean Hannity. Waters and Jesse Waters and Laura Ingram, so they can ask him, you know, softball things, and then they'd be confronting Kamala or some such thing. He hates it when you bring up, you know, things that he just did, stuff that he did last week or whatever. And that's what that's what the people on that's what these two did, but they hardly fat checked them. There were two things they brought up, you know, you know, people aren't eating dogs and cats, and no, nobody's being murdered because that's against the law. That's all they said. Very quick, mm -hmm. you know. They didn't even go into it too long. So, to blame the moderators is pff, is beyond preposterous. Yes. You know. Oh, no, no, they yeah. were they were very good. I thought. I mean, I thought they were great. Uh, so apparently, Ellen Barkin just posted and posted a link of the of debate. Did you catch that he said to? about Kamala when he was talking about her being black that she put out? Everybody knows it. What? Yeah. I think he, he was indicating that she that's what she released as far as her racial thing goes. I don't they're reading more into I read that she's an was idiot. Black, and that's okay. Either one was okay with me. Right, hold I don't on. know. I mean all I can say is I read where she was not black that she put out and Oh, I'll she put that. out that yeah. image. Yeah, yeah it his... wouldn't be. Yeah, you know. Oh, okay. They were trying to make it out like it was. Honestly, uh, we're, we're getting away from the knee pads. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's maybe though with him, it's like it's that, you know, the subconscious, you know, going through yeah. or whatever. But uh, I don't know. I don't think you can make that one stick. But it's still pretty bad. You know, he he um he. I don't believe there you can. So I don't know if you noticed about like thirty minutes in. The other thing is I was running my own timer, timing out each question and answer and all that. Um, uh, I already knew that he'd overrun, like that he had 10 Oh, I, they let him talk more. But you well, know, it's probably good because he buried questions. himself. 39 questions versus 23 for yeah. Tom. And uh, that's, and it's because he wouldn't answer the question. How yeah. many times did they ask him about abortion alone? That must have been like four questions, just that. You know, so uh, and it was a, there were a bunch like that. I don't think it helped him at all. Oh, absolutely. Nothing he did last night helped him. Oh, but it, it, he's between a rock and a hard place on that one. That's why he he wanted to. Obviously, he doesn't. Oh, no, he, he wanted to. He wanted to say, of course, I would block a national abortion, but he can't do that because then he he he, he hurts the, the evangelical vote. And no, you know what he so does is he compromises the uh, congressional and Senate races that are on the edge right now. Well, there Those you go. Republicans are holding on by like by gerrymandering alone. Those guys who gerrymandered in three and a half percent of, you know, wiggle room figuring they did that keep them safe. This guy's going five, five negative. So they're. They're looking for two more points. Those are the guys that he can't, if he goes out and says that just flat, he deep sixes so much down ballot energy for those races that there'd be easy pickups for Democrats. That's what they're looking at. They're looking at Michigan and Wisconsin redistricted. You know, they're 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 no longer gerrymandered. Gerrymandered like they were now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like like it's Texas and North Carolina are the worst gerrymandered states in, in the country 
Um, and Wisconsin used to be right there with us, but they're gone. You got all those races in New York that were barely won. Well, those are all going, especially now that you got the entire economic community backing up Harris saying, no, if you want a decent economy, that's the one you got to pick. These are J.P. Morgan. This is not what I would classify as the liberal contingent. But that's what's <laughs> yeah. going on right now. Of our yeah. Industry. yeah. Goldman so, yeah. Sachs. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs too. Yeah. yeah no, they're they... all like, whatever you do, do not elect Trump unless unless you want to, you know, use your 401k for kindling. I mean, yeah. it's brutal. Wow. I didn't know yeah. that. So they changed that New York one too. So these people will have a hard time. New York stuff was all redistricted and 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 really poorly run they've been new york is it's kind of like the republicans in texas they forget how to run races because they automatically win so much yeah that's what happened in new york and uh honestly that's what happened to the democrats here in texas in the 90s uh, the other thing so, that happened in new york is that there was a, sl a small fight within the democratic party between the cuomo wing and the yeah. hokel yeah. wing and the cuomo wing was the ones that could get the five those five districts that the the Democrats lost. Um, it was, I mean, this is where party politics is a real mess. I mean, it's a mess within itself. It's a family. There's oh. going to be disagreements. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's going to happen. Hey, yeah. Uh, no, so that's that's actually why Trump couldn't. Going back to the debate, that's why Trump couldn't. Just do what what he probably well what he's already done in Project Twenty Twenty Five, um, and he I don't know anything about that. What Project Twenty Twenty Five? That's what he said on the oh. debate. Oh yeah, of course. I've like, I've never that? never heard he of it. Mentioned three hundred times in that document. Never heard of it. If you've so, never heard of something and you're mentioned three hundred times, you should probably also not be president. Yep. Yep. Hey Andre, how does he look? What's uh, did you take a look at him? Is it terrible? I hope. I will just say this: it's playing out exactly like I thought it would play out because we're in a two-week swath now where he's really hurting. He doesn't like it in there. I've seen this numerous times over the last four or five years. Stuff circulating, something is circulating through there. He squirms. He's he rages. So and why? It's totally obvious, right? Because, in fact, the most likely thing to happen now, I'm guessing, is that the numbers, whether they're external and we all learn about it, or I keep hearing that sometimes campaigns have even better numbers, internal numbers and all that. Something's going to trigger him. Just like, you know, he didn't want to debate when he thought he was ahead, but he pretty quickly had to adapt to Kamala. And the irony to all this is that he's Mr. Alpha male and she's doing the alpha female on him. She's dictating all the terms. I would never agree to anything he tries. If I'm Kamala, just for, you know, even visual purposes, like make sure you stay in charge. And she can more than hold it up. The other thing is that yesterday she was operating under quite a bit of planetary stress and she totally passed it with flying colors. She took this energy and just threw it at him. And it's because the overall energy is much better for her whereas for him the overall is brutally bad you know really really bad including that the most ironic thing is it's a woman we've always said this you know that one way or the other a woman was going to play the, the key part i can't think of a better punishment for this guy honestly you know the karma that he is carrying on the all the horrible things he's done all the racist things having to deal with this him and his followers so to and me, a woman of color yeah, exactly, exactly. Which is why I think it's why he, you know, that that first move. That, by the way, that shows up in in sports too. I I used to be a competitive table tennis player, and the thing to rattle the other person is you cross the, you go over to the other side. <laughs> You're supposed to stay on your yeah. side. So I, especially in big matches, you know, you'd see the big, you know, national level things, and you never go across because that's like a, you know, invading the other person's space. She did it. I think it was planned. They probably told her, well, hey, I think so, oh, yeah, too. you know, kind of, yeah. But I also felt a little nervousness when she first began. Did you guys notice that? Well, it takes you a little minute to get warmed Her up. Her voice was quivering just a tad. I saw that with Jack Smith too when he yeah, first no, no, came it's, up it's, there. It's, I, I think she needed water. I think she was so dry. He was. I mean, she's got twenty-one years in public office, so and so she's, she's been, been in front of cameras a yeah. lot. But man, Trump. 
has four years of public office, 16 years of television where you're in front of cameras and there's just, there's a whole production there. It's a thing. I've had candidates that absolutely hate the camera and, uh, and don't, cannot, like if I'm just sitting there talking to them, this is the candidate I want people to meet. The one we're, that I'm watching right now, the second I put a camera, they're all, they're all weird, <laughs> you know? So it's a thing. It's, it's a whole other part of being a candidate for office yeah. is getting comfortable with the one-eyed monster. Yeah. yeah. But, but that, that's ironic though, because he has far more training and he froze. He froze. No, I, actually, no. what I saw him do, he's got ruts now. He can't deviate anymore. His, his, his ideology and his nonsense is so fixed that what I yeah. saw him do in the debate is just going to uh, campaign rally mode. Yeah, he just and lying, and that wasn't the... And which I does not play in a two-minute... It only plays in a three-hour, and then half your audience goes to sleep. Um, but he was on a two-minute rail operating his campaign brain, his campaign rally brain. And he, so he just started spewing the nonsense. And that's why you see such a difference in the amount of time between Kamala and him. I mean, every eighth word was probably worth something, but the other seven were garbage. And, and you know, what are you going to do with that? And he that's does how, say his bull. So when you would ask him a question, he'd end up talking about Haitians eating animals. But he people's pets. I mean he's that, very I mean, passionate I forgot about what the what question said. was that yeah. they asked him, but he did not even try and answer it. Yeah. I want to think it was the first time they hit him with the abortion answer question, but uh, it might no. You know what it was? I think it was. Uh, do you have any regrets for the January sixth stuff? No. That's the question, and he and we ended up hearing about Haitians eating kittens. Yeah, and also that it was Nancy Pelosi. Draw that line. Yeah, <laughs> and everybody knows Nancy Pelosi could not call up anybody. It was up to him. Yeah. No, he's the president of the United States. There's. Yeah, no, I'm surprised pretty... she didn't mention about uh, you know he wasn't upset about hang Mike Pence. Yeah, that's the thing she missed. But I, the, if there's another debate, she'll probably bring it up because well, that, you know that's I, the damage was done. I don't think there's going to be another debate. I, I don't see why she'd have to debate him again. I think I only think JD Vance is going to debate, even though they're scheduled for one in October. Yeah, um, I I would be amazed. Okay, uh, if I saw another debate come out of them they would i think they're better off trying to run their media and take what little money they're able to raise i think um kamala the very early reports i've saw she raised 20 million dollars during that debate okay that'll buy a lot of airtime around that's, more a lot that's, a, that's a fifth of what everything he raised in august yeah last night well, this is, you know, the thing about this period is, is the test as we go into October is this whole thing about all these astrologers that are focused on the Jupiter. But I've always said that where it is for I'm him is very... wicked close on, close on Saturday. I, I watch, I do a lot of it. Mars is supposed to be wicked close on Saturday to Earth. Um, Mar to who? To, to Mars for... is supposed to be conjunct, almost conjunct Jupiter, isn't it? Oh, it's supposed to be really like the closest it gets to us all year. Well, that's a you know that's a separate thing. That's the that's the closeness to the Earth. But no, it's not conjunct Jupiter. They're in different signs. Uh, the the point is that a lot of the astrologers that think he you know they say he's going to win based on Jupiter and his sign, ignoring the fact that Jupiter next month parks directly opposite the Moon. That's not a good aspect. That that's a complicated aspect particularly when you see what the moon does in its chart and all that. Whereas for her, it's on her ascending rising sign, which is really good. Mm -hmm. So, and then now separately, see this, this has many layers. The other thing is this guy will do what he always does. He's going to ramp it up even more with exaggerations and hyperbole and lies and insanity. That's what he, that's the way he uses his Jupiter, right? Like charts are the way you interact with a chart. It's not like these things are fixed. People choose the way they, uh, express the energy through you know many complicated reasons like genetics, like his father was a KKK supporter, all that kind of stuff, right? But he corrupts everything. So 
that, that's what's going to happen as we go into into uh, you know October more and more insanity. If you think uh, Haitians eating dogs, just wait because you're going to see even more crazed energy. Because you're probably right, Sean. His only play is hope that he can you know bring all the radicals out of the woodwork. You know, bring more people that are hiding in the in the uh, in the rural areas. Because as you said too, there are not going to be many in the suburbs. I don't think you know if no, the I suburbs. A great way to lose a, a race is to talk like this because the suburbs vote against you. you know, that's also, how you talk. It also benefits the fact that the Democrats have more money. Yeah, like, exactly. They can go and actually knock on all those doors many times. Yeah. Uh, they can make sure that they can go into those media markets, which are more expensive because there's more eyes and you know ears. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, it's got higher value. It's going to be more expensive media markets. And then go into those markets because they got more money. So it's it's not like it's, it's like he's getting hit from like 15 different directions and there's uh, outside some shenanigans as long as everyone just goes and votes. That's it. That's it. And the Swift, the Swifties, the oh, young ones. We don't even know what that is yet. That could be my hit from a while ago was that he would, she would win by a landslide. And everybody's saying, oh, it's close. It's close. I'm wondering if it's because what comes behind it. Listen, I watched when when that post went up and I looked at it and I was like, every suburb in this country is now up for grabs. Every college campus in this country is now absolutely turned up to 90. Yeah. Because cute girls are going to go vote and guys are going to go with them. And yeah. However those cute girls say. I'm not going right. to lie. That's how it works. That's and, it. <laughs> That's what I mean, I mean these kids are even watching football. This guy's saying my kids were never interested. All of a sudden, they want to know who that guy from Kansas City is. Right. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But I mean, but it's just how it works. Uh, ask yeah. anybody who runs a bar. Any guy who runs a bar, mm -hmm. ask him how he get. That's where they have ladies' night. Basically, she just said ladies' night for voting. And <laughs> all the guys are going to follow. It's, that's how, that's what weird energy this Taylor Swift thing could get. And if she starts doing fundraisers and outreach, if each one of her, I mean, let's say she's got 200 million uh, women in her Instagram that can vote. Right. Each give Kamala five bucks. Oh, for sure. For I sure. Mean, yeah, we done? for sure. Well, if he dares to say trash about her, I haven't seen trash yet. Oh, he will. But that's he really cannot, he can't help himself. It's so. really going to hurt him. Yeah. You know well, what? She's a has been. I have no idea well, why people think she's so great. Yeah. Because she sold more albums than any human on the planet, more than the Beatles. You know, they another angle that. Uh, well, she probably won't do this because it's too it's too petty. But Kamala should should say. You know, you fancy yourself as this person that can predict things, you know, you're like a futurist, you know, and everything's going to fall apart. Like you told us how in 2020, yeah. you said the stock market's going to completely tank. Really? Yeah. So like, so we should believe you now that, you know, the right. doomsday is coming. I mean, this guy, it's, it's unbelievable. The, the one thing with him is he's relentless. He will continue to try to shape reality to his view, even though it's completely false. That well, he never he gives up. No, you know? he, he advocates for a position that... Uh, hurts his opposition mm -hmm. so whatever that whatever he has to advocate for as long as it hurts his opposition or as he perceives it hurts the, whether it's true or false doesn't even that's not even part of it right it's called marketing because he's yeah. on television commercials do not tell you the truth no <laughs> yeah no exactly yeah that's what he does i mean he told that remember that thing with the access hollywood bus and uh billy bush was really hurt by that he was fired and everything and there was an article I had read years ago where Bush, Billy Bush said to him, well, why do you always, you know, you lie about everything? And he said, well, you just tell people and then they believe you. Right. Well, well, this is the way he works. Enough, yeah. I mean, it's a sad, it's a sad thing to think, though, that we're in this era, as you said, how everyone has access, which actually is really bad for him, because think about it. People like this need to hide their, their stuff. But then there's always an, an iPhone or a Android phone taking the picture. It's really hard to be a fascist in, in the modern world is really hard. You know, yeah, it, yeah. it really is. So yeah. if, if, we need to make it harder. Yeah. I know, I know, but I know. <laughs>
What are you suggesting? We bring back the death penalty, Nancy? <laughs> no, no. I, I know. I don't like the death penalty because I wouldn't pull the lever to do yeah, it. Yeah, I know. So. I know. It's yeah. Uh, well, he'll he'll be a has been before you know it. Yeah, well, I don't think he's going to live long enough. So me too. It's like, well, remember our little bunny reading where I pulled out my bunny cards because I thought it'd be really good about the debate. It ended up being exactly right. Yeah. One person was killed. One person raked in some understanding, but it was over. I mean, the defensiveness, it, they'd let go of their burden. And the bunny on the outside was, you know, everything was looking really good for her. And then I think the bunny that was in, holding the three of wands was Taylor Swift coming in and kicking it. Yeah. yeah. Really giving her a push. Mm hmm Really connecting her to a much bigger world. I had a dream, I told Sean, two days before the debate, and somehow or another I ended up in my dream in a room with Trump's advisors. They couldn't see me, but I was there. And they were they were seriously thinking about not well, not poisoning, poisoning him, but making him sick. And they went through all this rationale and said, no, if he doesn't show up, it's going to be worse. And when I was watching the debate, I was thinking about what they were saying. And they were going, how bad could it get? And I felt like saying, so bad. Yeah, I love to go back in that room and tell you, this is how bad it can get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, there was a, um, I think the Wall Street Journal did, um, had a group of independents. They were like 10, 10 probably vote Trump, 10 probably vote uh, Harris, and then a bunch in the middle. And uh, after the debate, there were six that were going to probably vote Trump, three that were in the middle, and then 10 that were probably going to vote Harris, and then six that were definitely going to vote Harris. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just pushed, to totally changed. Yeah. Totally changed the entire, you know, and it's 20 people or 30 people actually and what does that really mean you know what kind of demographics were sampled who where what what are their occupations but um i've gone through and i've looked at a bunch of those now because everyone mm -hmm. did their own and they're all the same they're all leaning that much they're yeah. all they all skew towards harris wow you know? so that's and my god the power of debate in this cycle. I know. Normally, mom and I will just hang out, have a few margaritas, eat some popcorn, and call it a day, and just be done. <laughs> Long. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the end of the debate, and man. It was a debate. Okay, burp, burp, burp. you know, um, and that's it. We've had two historical debates this cycle alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, it's insane. I mean, we watched a fifty-year veteran uh, uh, not survive his debate, and then we watched the first. Uh, woman of color and you know white yeah dude. but you know the Biden not surviving made Trump think he's all that in a cup of tea it made, like, it made like him more of a bolstering like I can handle her tea, so. I can handle her you know she's a woman I can handle her he went out right. there and blew up right in front of us well you know what's interesting is I'll bet because uh, you know Nancy's right if his people around him had to be like listen She's a prosecutor. She's got 21 years of this. She, she can do this job. Treat her, you know. They might have gotten into his head. Yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, because how couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, I've I've competed against in debate, and I know good players when I see one. Yeah. And I know yeah. I gotta be on my my A game. Oh, he was waiting for her to say something because he'd say, I'm talking. Oh no, I love that. I was I was wondering if he was gonna try and pull that. And uh uh and it really doesn't Didn't come do off as well when it's a white dude to a woman. It just doesn't it does not play well. I I swear to God she should have said, What's that smell? I know. <laughs> so. That did not that looked so much better on paper. And I'll bet money that was one of the things they had planned. Yeah, the minute she starts talking while you're talking, you can Yeah, the it. second she does, don't lose this opportunity. It didn't work. It didn't work. It worked so good against Pence. Yeah. That's big because the person right. who did it was competent. Right. And uh yeah, that did not look well. 
So you know? listen, you guys, I'm going to have to go because my son has a dental appointment. Well, well, I do also have to go because oh, I have okay. to go cook dinner. So, All right. Well, we'll adjourn there and uh, and we'll continue soon, I'm sure, because I, I have continue. a feeling I think we're going to see some really interesting uh, things surface in the next 10 days. I'm oh, really I think, sure. Yeah, absolutely. No. The next 30 are going to be key. Uh, we've got the October surprise. I don't, I can't even... I don't even know what it's going to be. I thought it was dogs <laughs> and cats, but you know, and don't rule out one thing that could come up is that there is the the um, Judge Chutkin case that's looking mm -hmm. a little possible. And yesterday, you notice he went out of his way to say, "Oh, they dismissed the documents thing." That thing is on appeal. Yeah, it's and, not dismissed. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's not dismissed. So now I don't I don't know what the mechanics one hundred percent are. No, they maybe they're going to delay. Okay. They're gonna. It's gonna be genius. Yeah, but any, anything that comes up now, it just adds to the you know, to the yeah. flood to the to the flood of bad information. So yeah. All I'd like to see them do is pull, um, the the judge in Florida off Eileen Cannon, get rid of loose Cannon, because yeah. that was one of the things he said last night was, and a very esteemed jurist in Florida. Oh too, God. So. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, oh really. Yeah, it's pretty, oh. I have a thing on my phone that tells me how many days it is until it's 54 days, nine hours, 48 minutes and four seconds till the polls right. close. And, um, uh, and Pennsylvania starts voting on the 16th. I, yes. And In five days. Mm -hmm. And so make sure, you know, you know, your spiel, Sean, it's yeah, make check. sure you're registered, make sure you've got all your ducks check in your voter status and make sure if you have a plan you do it before the voter registration deadline. Mm -hmm. uh, so on all my shows from now on, uh, I've got a whole slide that's just, these are the swing states. These are all of the election, uh, your, your, your break for where you can't register to vote for this any after this date. Yeah. So, I make sure it's in every show that I'm doing now. Okay. I just said, and I've had a few, it's really interestingly, I've had a few people comment and talk about checking their voter status because it's not something, and I say it literally every show. Uh, so this, a few people have done it and, and a couple of them were really surprised. Oh yeah. yeah. And we can tell you flat out, we have a friend that we ran for city council. He was a city councilman for eight years here in Dallas. He had a, a co cohort in Waco, which is not a, it's a big city. It's not a big city, but you know, it's, it's, it's an okay. Not city. for Texas, but nor and in other places. One, it's a seven seat council. There's seven council seats in her district alone. 6,000 people had been struck from the rolls and she found out about it. And so she's got lawyers working on getting them all back on because apparently however it was done was was oh. botched enough that they saw it before they right. no, we're not working with geniuses we're just working with sneaky people remember your little three -year -old, remember all the bad stuff your little three-year-old brother could do think put that into adult terms <laughs> right all right all guys right. thank you andre bye thank everyone you, thank bye -bye. you john thank you nancy thank you catch you on the other side bye mm -hmm.